All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be a quick lesson. Um, I'm reading here in the book of 2nd Edge 16, and um, I just got finished watching um, Elder Apostle Tahar. He put up a video just a few minutes ago. As I was driving, I was listening, and uh, he posted the video of, uh, 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 I believe it's RT, and, and um, you know, they were showing Lebanon on fire, man. You know, there's so many uproars going on in the world that, as he mentioned, mainstream media is not covering, all right? And that's the Lord, because the Lord said he comes as a thief in the night, all right? But it tells us in First Thessalonians. Let me uh, let me get that real quick, since it came up. Let me pull this Bible app up real quick. First uh, Thessalonians five and one. It says, "But of the seasons and times, but of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night." Exactly. So as the apostle was speaking, I was thinking of some scriptures and uh, mainstream media is not covering what's going on. So uh, everyday people who you live around, you know, Jake don't even follow the news anyway, unless it's something that goes viral on social media that gets put on Instagram and Facebook and, you know, whatever, you know. But anyway, they're not covering what's going on around the world. But the Lord told Habakkuk. You know, and Habakkuk is an example for the rest of the prophets. He says, stand upon thy watch. All right. Stand upon that watchtower. He said, I will see. I will. Uh, let me get me get it. Uh, misquote it. I don't want to misquote it. Uh, Habakkuk 2 and 1. It says, but it says, I was Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me on a tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. All right. So by the prophets of the Lord, which is the mouthpiece of the Lord, have been made watchmen, you know, to give what? Israel warning. OK, to 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 also tell the other nations that they're going to go into captivity. OK, for all of the things that they've done to the Israelites. All right. We really. A particular warning the elect because that's who the Lord is actually delivering but this warning is going out throughout the four corners of the earth you know so you're gonna hear of this truth whether you hear or forbear so it says I will stand upon my watch and set me on the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I'm reproved and today how we do that is by watching the news brothers are constantly watching and watching and hey one brother see it before another brother put it up guess what hey all the prophets are on board man you know all the prophets knowing what's going on man because the lord have now what reproved us gave us correction to see what times we living in now we don't know the set day hour nor you know minute second but we do know that we in that season of esau's kingdom uh being removed Okay, and it tells us in Second Ezra six that who is that who that Jacob is up next to follow. All right, so we know that when Esau falls, the kingdom of Jacob is is coming in, and and guess what? Hey, you tribes, you are the sons of Jacob. You are the daughters of Jacob. Okay, you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians. But guess what? To the elect. The ones that's going to be delivered, that took heed unto the ways of the Lord, man, you know, and, and basically give their body as a living sacrifice, you know, and not give themselves over to benefits of this world. Hey, and that got works, you know, now works is not going to, you know, be the reason why you deliver it. But it's, it's also the Lord. Uh, it's, it's an action of of your of, of expressing your love and faith toward your how about Shemi was shy. All right. Because Paul said, "Faith without works is dead." All right, so let me continue because I'm going. I'm going a lot of places. My mind is, uh, you know, it's it's it's, it's real. You know, it's here, there, there. All right, so verse two. And the Lord answered me and said, "Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it." So whatever 
uh, the, one, the, the brothers, the apostles, the elders, whoever, you know, see these things, they write it upon the table. Okay, how we write today, we do our epistles. We do our shows before the unicorn, the internet of things. You know, film ourselves and hear our voices and things and relate a message to the rest of the brothers out there around the world. Well, to the prophets out there around the world that's keeping watch. It says, and I, it says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. So while we breaking down the scriptures, we're making it plain as day. All right. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. All right. And as the apostle was, uh, he was saying these things, he was quoting these scriptures in the video. And um, there's so much sedition going on in the world, okay? Rioting, you know, protesting, okay? And um, guess what? These things are going to happen around the world, and it's taking place outside of America. So what you think this place is going to be? It's going to be even worse when these, when, when these plagues of the Lord actually come uh, uh, to this land in what you call North America, which is known as Babylon the Great. It's going to be horrifying, man. It's going to be something you never seen before, something you never been through before. This is why we are we in need, you know, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's help. Okay? The scriptures say the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. All right, so I'm going to go back real quick. And um let me see if there was some a little bit more on uh 1 Thessalonians 5 since I pulled it. Um it says, "But of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you uh, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Exactly. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travailed upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Okay? So this the illusion as if you think you're going to have safety. You know, Jake today and, and Esau, you know, and these heathens that's, you know, uh, in here, here in North America believe that this place would never fall. That's the illusion that's set up in your mind, man. Okay? Hey, that's the most high blinding you. Because the scriptures say, for, for when they say, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. It says, as travailed upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So you're not going to escape this judgment, man. It says, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day and not of the night and nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others and let us watch and be sober. All right. So that, that's it for that. Now I want to read 2nd Edra 16 and I start at 1. It says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with clothes of sack and, and hair. Be well, your children, and be sorrow, for the destruction is at hand. <laughs> Call halal la, yahal ba shimi was shy, man. Because why? Destruction is at hand, man. Yahweh shy, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, is, is, is on his way back, man. And if you can't see the signs, then guess what? You're not of the Lord's elect, and you're going to be destroyed, man. If you don't believe... <laughs> You're not of the Lord's elect and you're going to be destroyed because this is the time that truly the prophets, the men of the Lord, okay, the elect have been looking for, 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 for years, man. All right. Have been looking for even in their past life when they was teaching the truth, when they was waiting for Yahweh Shai's return, man. You know, so it says, gird up yourselves with clothes of sack and hair. Be well, your children, and be sorrow for your destruction is at hand. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? All right, so Esau, you know, you want to tempt the Lord? You want to force the Lord's hand? You know, you want to see, you know, that's just written in uh, wisdom, wisdom of Solomon. You know, you want to see if the Most High is our Father, is our Savior. The scriptures say, um, uh, uh, let us see. If uh, ah, now I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it real quick. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, two, and uh, let me see. All 
All right, this is Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 15. Uh, it says, He is grievous even unto us to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. Talking about the elect. You know, the elect ways are, 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 are of another fashion. They're not like the two-thirds of Jake, of the Israelites. They are of a whole totally different cloth. You know how Jake say in the world, yo, I'm cut from a different cloth, my man. <laughs> you know? Well, guess what? The elect is truly cut from a different cloth. Even though they are Israelites, but they're cut a little uh, different, man. Okay? The Most High said these are that cluster of grape that he kept to himself, which is of great men. Okay? So, it says, um, He is grievous even unto us to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. He abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. He pronounces the end of the just to be blessed and to make of his boast that the Most High is his father. All right, so they know what we're prophesizing about. Esau knows exactly, you know, the doctrine. He knows the gospel that's been spread across the four corners of the earth. You know, the message that goes out to the elect around the world. Okay, he knows. He knows that we say that the Heavenly Father is our father. He knows that we're telling him that we are the true Jews that the Bible speaks of. Okay, that we are the Hebrew Israelites. We are God's chosen people. He knows that. So it says, we are esteemed of him as counterfeits. And he knows that we look at him as a fake. <laughs> he knows we look at him as a fake, man. It says, we are esteemed of him as counterfeits. He abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. Of course, because in this society, in this colonial uh, Greek Roman society, and their traditions, you know, they're now uh, forcing their practice of homosexuality and pedophilia on everyone here in America, man. I'm gonna say across the world, because that's their whole goal. You know, we are all different nations, man. Okay, the so-called blacks are not like. Well, let me say the so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native and Seminole Indians, okay, Haitians, West Indians, they are of another fashion, another uh, uh, manner of people than Esau, Edom, which is the so-called white man, okay? The Israelites are of another manner from the Ishmaelites. The Israelites are of another manner, okay, than the Moabites, than the Japhites, than the Ammonites, we are not from the same culture. We are not from the same traditions. But here in East, here in the world, that's why it proves, that proves that even Job 9 and 24, okay, has taken place. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That's how we know who you are. Because the Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. We know who runs the world. The wicked, the sons of the wicked. That's Esau, Edom. Okay, let me get back. Um, we esteem of him as counterfeits. He abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. He pronounces the end of the just to be blessed and maketh his boast that Yahweh, the father, well, Yahweh, the power is his father. So he knows that we stand stiffly for the name of the Lord. He knows that we boast because we boast. We have to boast because we set in the record straight. Okay, this, this knowledge, the real science of the Lord was taken away from us. Okay, and the Most High have done that. Okay, he says in uh, Jeremiah, what's that, Jeremiah 17? He said, what, we shall discontinue from thy heritage? Okay, meaning we was on it and then we lost it, but then we picked it back up. So that's fulfilling prophecy, man. That's a prophecy, man. Esau, you don't know prophecy, man. Because the Heavenly Father is not, is, 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 have not chose you, man. Okay? So, let me read on. Verse 17. Let us see if his words be true. And let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. You see? So, that was my point of grabbing this. Because in their mindsets, these elites, you know, they want to see, they want to really, they really want to see the Lord uh, work. They, because Esau is not spiritual. Well, he is spiritual because he, you know, he practiced that, that witchcraft. So you can't say he's not spiritual. But let me say this. He don't know righteousness. And what he wants to see 
is that power from Yahweh, man. He want to see if what we say is true. You know? Well, guess what? Let me go back. Let me get back to second address. And uh, what was I? 16. And... And uh, verse 4, uh, verse 3, it says, A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? Exactly. So when you want to see the Most High, you want to see if the words of the prophets is true. <laughs> when the Lord send forth that sword, there is no turning back. <laughs> there is no turning back. Okay, Esau? You want to see if the words of the, the prophets are true from the Heavenly Father? Because they boast that the that the God of the world is their father and they chosen, they're the chosen people. You want to see? Well, guess what? Second Edward 16 and 3. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? You know, this thing, when Yahweh Shai, before he returned, he even said this place is already gonna be on fire because it's gonna be anarchy, man. It's gonna be uh, sedition among men. It's gonna be chaos going on in the world. Not just here in America, but in the other lands. It's starting in the other uh, countries before it even hit here. All right? It says, a fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Because there's, you know, no man, no other power. Okay? Because there is no other power besides Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. There is no other uh, Hades, you know, in your Greek mythology. You know, your 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 uh your Greek worshiping uh, false gods. You know Zeus. You want to say, but Hades and hell that don't even listen. That don't exist, man. Okay, if you want to say hell, hell represents the grave, man. Okay, when you die, your spirit goes back up to that one power, which is Yahweh. Okay, and his begotten son Yahweh Shai. You go right back up to your chambers, man, in the fourth dimension. There is no other god. That could fight against our God that runs the earth. There is no other power. Okay? Let me read that again. Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? So there's no man and no other power that can drive away Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's plagues. Because it's gonna get real ugly, man. Alright? Those plagues, diseases, uh uh airborne diseases that's gonna come. Oh, that oh, it's gonna come. Okay. Might just start in these other countries. Either way, they, they, they're sent out, man. All right, it says, verse 6 May any man drive away an hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire of stubble when it have begun to burn? May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer? The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who? Is he that can drive them away? <laughs> That's why the Lord sent forth the plague that go across the face of the uh, the curse. Excuse me. The Lord sends forth the curse that go across the face of the whole earth, and that is the angels of the Lord, man, that ride in those vehicles which we know to be chariots of Yahweh, vehicles of Yahweh, man. Okay, <laughs> because Esau. You don't run this world unless the Lord allow you to run this world. You know, even Yahweh Shai, you know, told that the Pomp Pilot, man. Okay? You know, you don't have no power except if my father give you power, roughly paraphrasing. All right? Yahweh Shai was, was, uh, was that dude. <laughs> and that's why we worship Yahweh Shai, man. Because he truly gave up his body as a living sacrifice unto us, man. You know? That's beautiful, man. So what can we give in return? To give our bodies as a living sacrifice. You know, may the most high, uh, uh, may, may, as the scriptures say, we suffer in Yahweh Shai, and may we re also rejoice when Yahweh Shai rejoice, man. Because we are one, all right? One accord, all right? Because you got this Christianity Trinity thing going on. You know, the heavenly father is the son, the son is the father. No, they are two different entities, man. The father is one spirit that's higher than the son spirit, okay? Yahweh Shai, who the word only called Jesus Christ, he's another spirit. So you have what? The heavenly father and the son. And they on what? One accord, okay? So anyway, um, verse, verse nine, a fire shall go forth from his wrath and who is he that may quench it? 
He shall cast lightnings and who shall not fear? He shall thunder and who shall not be afraid? Verse 11, the Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder as it, at his presence? Is it not written in 2nd Edges 9 where it says the, the, uh, measure the time diligently in itself? Uh, 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 this is the very same time wherein the highest is beginning to visit the world in which he made. Because when the Most High sent out uh, his orders, you know, he sent out his angels, hey, it get, the job gets done, man. All right? When the Most High is blowing the trumpet, sh shall, not, shall not you be afraid? Shall not there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? <laughs> hey, when the Lord start judging this place as he is, Hey, you people are missile food, man. You know, and all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah because, hey, the Lord said also he shortened the days for the elect sake. The elect went out. We don't want nothing. We don't want no wicked crumbs from your evil table. Okay? You don't want no, we don't want no benefits from this place. All we want to see is the word of the Lord being fulfilled as it is written. That's all, man. That's all. All right? Uh, it says, um, verse 11, the Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. The earth quaketh and the foundation thereof, the sea ariseth up with waves from the deep and the waves of it are troubled and the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. For strong is the right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. When they began to be shot, into the ends of the world behold the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth all right because ultimately those thermonuclear missiles are the lord's missiles man they're not yours uh esau they're not yours heathens they are the lord's you know and i really believe it's gonna be the lord that's gonna bring those missiles out of those silos and gonna shoot them across the continent man to go to his targets to finish the mission man Okay, that's why you always got those angels hovering around those bases, always doing things and twerking Esau's machines, and you know, and you and you and, and you you see it, you know, talking to the big time uh, 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 high prestige secret service, you know, that don't report to the public, you know, y'all witness the angels, y'all know what time it is, you know, there's another uh, power that exists besides man, okay. Whether you want to call it a devil or call it God, well, we telling you that 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 that's the heavenly Father, that's Yahweh, okay, sending forth His orders among the angels. The scriptures say they are pleased the wrath of Him that made them, man. You know they, you know they 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 do the job. All right, they that curse unto you, Edomites. All right, you the one that uh raped and robbed and pillaged, you know this land from the native and Seminole Indians, man. You the one that brought the the negroes which are the tribe of judah you know benjamin and levi which are the west indians and the haitians you the one that brought them on cargo slave ships and brought them over here man dropped them off on their islands and brought the niggas who you call niggas all right you brought them here to america man you did this you stole all right that's um uh, uh zachariah the fifth chapter all you gotta do is read that all right anyway you know, to get under to get understanding, I don't want to grab that real quick. I want to finish up because I want to make this lesson uh, a little quicker. So, and then you got two hands, you got eyes, you got a mind. You can look up Zechariah the fifth chapter and read. Okay, those angels, those chariots, which the world call UFOs, it says they are the curse that go across the face of the earth, man. All right. Now, back in Second Edges sixteen and sixteen, it says like as an arrow, which is shot of a mighty archer. Return if not backward, even so the plagues that are sent upon the earth shall not return again. You know, woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? And that was the vision that Ezra was seeing. And Ezra was shook. This is a man of the Lord, a prophet, one of the elect. Him being in a vision, the Most High put him in a trance to see what we haven't even experienced yet. He said, woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days, man? Because that's how horrible it's going to be. 
Hey, the Lord wasn't called al Elijah for no reason. Meaning what? Demon-like power? Demon power? Okay? This is what the heathens used to call our God. All right? The Most High said he is terrible. Okay? He's a terrible power. So how dare, all right, you to be proud and to boast and or to even think that you can sit in the seat of the, of the Most High. You can't even sit in his seat because the Lord said, earth is my footstool and heaven is my throne. So you can never sit in the seat of the Most High. All right? You would never be in the temple because first off, Esau has a, 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 what you call a plague called leprosy, man. Esau is profane. And he was rejected. You know, he there is no repentance for Esau, man. You know, the only ones that have a right to be within the Lord's house are Israelites. So you got these different camps teaching that these uh, nations are going to make it or Esau can make it. You going to be destroyed right along with who you said that could make it. Esau can't make it, man. But anyway. Uh, verse 18 The beginning of sorrow and great mournings The beginning of famine and great death The beginning of wars And the power shall stand in fear The beginning of evils What shall I do when these evils shall come? And are we seeing right now I was, Like I said The motivating of this spirit I mean the motivation of this lesson Which is uh, given by Yahweh, The spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Which is the Rakakwadash Okay, spirit, holy, holy spirit, and the inspiration and motivation were from me watching the elder apostle Tahar's lesson, man. Okay, well, it wasn't even a let. It was, you know, you could call it a lesson. He was just basically updating brothers about what's going on because he saw there was going on. Uh, uh, what is it? Lebanon was on fire, man. It was sedition going on, you know, and 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 there's plenty other places, man. So, let me read this again. Uh, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings. It says the beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars. There's so many proxy wars going on. It says, and the power shall stand in fear. You know, when it gets to this point, the powers who, who, who are in charge. Okay, you elites, you're going to be in fear soon. You might not fear now. You might be laughing at these videos and chuckling and saying it would never happen. You think we're crazy and we're out of our minds. But guess what? The Lord said the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent for scourges of a mint for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case and even then shall evils grow upon earth sword famine and great confusion for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape from the hunger shall the sword destroy it says and the dead shall be cast out as dung and there shall be no man to comfort them for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down. There shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. The trees shall give fruit and who shall gather them? The grapes shall uh, ripen and who shall tread them? For all places shall be desolate of men. All right. Uh, you know, and I'm going to leave it at that. You know, I'm going to stop there because I wanted to cover uh, already what, I, what, what, what it was. But, um. Hey, you know, this is the end, man. The end of Esau. It's just a matter of time until they force that mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, radio frequency identification chip. If you don't know, now you know, nigga. <laughs> you know, that's that biggie. But, but um, you know, I don't know what made me think of that. But, but guess what, man. You know, this is it, man. And and all jokes aside, you know, it's serious, man. You know, so hey, may the brothers, uh, may the Lord have mercy upon the men who've been striving in his truth. And uh until next time, all right, want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors 
to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.